Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought we would go back to some oldies but goodies that we've had on this channel, and that is simply shopping my closet. And although I do believe that personal style and wardrobe can be a constant evolution, needs change, taste change, all of that good stuff, but sometimes we just need to get back to the basics. So in today's video, I thought we would shop my capsule wardrobe and recreate slash just create some outfits. And before we get started, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Naywai. Naywai means feeling good inside and out. And I think one of the foundations of a good outfit is having some good underwear. They sent me a few pieces from their Barely Zero collection, which I think is very interesting because I am barely zero in the boob department. Um, and these bras are meant to be sort of one size and very adaptable in fit. So as long as you're within the listed size range, Barely Zero will adapt to fit you. I don't know how they do it but it's legit <laughs> and I think it's quite comfy to wear under clothes and can actually even be pulled off as like a sports bra or like a bra top and I like that the inserts are removable so if you want a little bit more smoothing and shape then you can keep them in or if you want to keep it a little bit more natural then you can take it out. Naywai also recently came out with some activewear and they sent me their leggings so it's very buttery very soft they're nice and high-waisted quite flattering and they also sent me this ballet cardigan which is essentially like a wrap top it's 80% wool 20% polyester so it can keep you quite warm but still breathable and I like that you can wear it to a workout class or in your everyday which really helps maximize versatility in your wardrobe. So if you're interested in giving Naywai a try, they gave me a code to save 20% off. You can use CM20 at checkout and I'll leave everything linked down below. All right, let's get into shopping our closets. So look number one, I'm going to recreate this outfit by Sarah Louise Blythe. So what I really love about her style is that she really nails the sort of oversized kind of look, but is also able to bring that balance back in with a lot more feminine and even slimmer pieces. So let's try it. So I'm just starting off with a plain t-shirt. This one is just a little bit more on the slimmer fit. And I think that's good because I'm going to be grabbing a more oversized blazer. And these are my A Goldie crisscross jeans. The jeans that she's wearing in the photo are a little bit more oversized, more baggy. I wouldn't say that these are baggy, but they're definitely on the more relaxed side. So we're going to run with that. So she's wearing a gray oversized blazer in the photo and I think it could be the same one as I have. This is from Durf Avenue. It's a size small. And then for the shoe, she has this really slim sort of pointed toe and I think that is the key to creating balance in this particular outfit. Everything that's going on in the rest of the look is quite big and oversized. So she sort of brings it all back with the shoe. These shoes are super, super old. They're from Stuart Weitzman. I actually tried to declutter these and nobody wanted them. Them, so I was like, oh, okay, let's just bring these out from hiding. And I'm glad I did because they are really, really comfortable and I think really lend themselves well to balancing out a proportion like this in an outfit. So I really like this. I think something else I'm going to do is employ the rule of big, slim skin. So this is something that I learned from Amy Smilovic, the founder of Tibby. And it's essentially a rule that you can implement if your outfit is feeling a little bit off and it's a way to bring back balance to an outfit that may feel out of proportion. So you can see here I'm kind of like big, big and slim. I don't have a lot of skin showing because the t-shirt is a higher crew neck. I could bring in skin if I switch this to like a tank top that had more of a scoop neck to show my chest, but I don't want to do that with this outfit. So my option here is rolling up the sleeves because I don't want these to slip down. I'm just going to fold this part once and pull it up. Now it's going to stay there all day. And I think this looks a lot better. It looks a lot more intentional, but still really relaxed. So if we're talking proportions, I have my big in my blazer, big in the sort of looser fit trousers. Then we have slim with the kitten heels and skin with my arm showing here. And just to show you a little bit further, so let's just take these like Jerry Seinfeld dad sneakers. Not that this look is bad, but I think it just communicates a different vibe. Now we have a little bit more of a big, big, big proportion going on. Now it feels a little bit too casual, a little bit too relaxed, and I feel a little bit dragged down and heavy at the bottom, 
Whereas with the slimmer shoe, especially with a pointed toe, I think it just sort of elongates everything, keeps it all going. It just works a little bit better than this. All right, so this is the base of the next look that I saved from a girl on Instagram called Polly Sawyer. So she has a grayish pair of denim jeans on or black if you have that you could use and a pretty classic oversized white stripe button up. So everything about this outfit is very, very relaxed, which is why I was really drawn to it. Because this is something that I, again, would probably wear to work, I'm just going to do a few things to sort of polish it up, but still make it feel like myself. So for example, I don't like these sleeves just hanging down like this all the way. So what I'm gonna do instead is roll up the sleeves. Quite a lot though, like, I like this sort of kind of vibe like this, but the sleeve falls down a lot and it's still very sort of baggy and relaxed looking. So I like the look of a ultra rolled up sleeve that kind of goes past the elbow. So I would kind of do something like this to make me just look like, hey, I'm cool, I'm professional, but I'm laid back, I'm chill. I have the top two buttons here undone. I like that nice sort of open look. If I was at work, I don't want my boobs showing. So I might kind of do this instead to make it a little bit more modest. I'm going to tuck in the front, make it a little bit more relaxed. I like the Surf Avenue shirt because it has venting in the back. So when you do do this sort of French tuck, you have a lot of movement. It doesn't restrict you very much. So it really just gives that nice effortless relaxed look and now i'm gonna go in with the loafer and i think i need a belt okay i think it's cleaning it up a bit and i think what i'm gonna do is because the loafers for me feel a little bit grandpa classic kind of nerdy i think i'm gonna put something a little bit more edgy on top just to give a little bit of contrast and sort of oppose the two vibes happening on top and on bottom. See, this is what getting dressed is like. You find an outfit that inspires you. Maybe it doesn't quite feel like yourself. Just find ways to add little adaptations to make it feel like you again. That feels better. That feels more like me. I feel like this is a little bit harder. And then we got the nerd down here and I kind of like it. It's a cool thing. Okay, this next look I pulled straight from the Tibby runway. I am such a for Tibby right now. I absolutely love their stuff, but more importantly, I'm really inspired by their styling. It's really creative and it's sort of really pushing me to think outside of the box when it comes to my own clothes and how I choose to wear them. So this outfit is straight from the runway spring 2023 and we're tucking in blazers. We're about to go on an adventure here. So I think the key to this look is having a slimmer blazer. I'm wearing my old Samuel blazer from Aritzia. It's like six years old. This is like part of my wedding suit, but it's a really nice sort of thinner, slimmer fitting blazer. And I think it'll lend itself really nicely to this attempt. And I think the key is also definitely having a wider leg pair of jeans or trousers because this is kind of a lot of fabric to tuck in. So I'm gonna try to crisscross applesauce this like this, tuck it in and uh, wish me luck. There's definitely a lot of smoothing that needs to happen here. Okay, I think we may have done it. It's a little, it was a little bit of a struggle, a lot of like smoothing, but I think it looks pretty good. I don't feel all bumpy and bunchy. The only thing I think I would do is put like a safety pin here so I don't go like just, you know, showing the world all my bits. I think it would work a little bit better if the pants were slightly wider, but this is sort of the best option that I had. And then I just grabbed the shoes from the previous look. This is just to give myself some height and sort of elongate things, but this is really cool. I think you could also do this and where I would probably like it better and where it seems a bit more realistic is to do it with like a button up like this. Tuck that into some trousers. And I think that might work a little bit better and wouldn't feel so voluminous. If you're gonna try this with a blazer, it definitely has to be on the thin side. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a big bunch of fabric and you'll probably feel ridiculous. But I'm really impressed with this. It's kind of like, it's fun, it's interesting, it's creative. Let me know if you try it. Okay, this next look I really wanted to show you the Naywai set in action. I took the pads out of the bra because I just prefer that. I just think it's a little bit more comfortable. I'm gonna take this wrap shirt and layer this first. It's made of wool and cashmere, so pretty comfy. So you could totally just wear it as like a shrug like this, but I'm gonna wrap it. I'd probably wear this to go get a coffee on a weekend or go to a workout class, go to Pilates. 
So I'm gonna put these socks on because it's cold out. This is another tip that I've been seeing on Insta lately, and that is using your thin sweater as a scarf. This one is from Grana from when I worked with them, and I'm gonna wrap it around the front like this. Cute, cute, cute. I'm gonna put this leather jacket on. I will cashmere beanie. If we're being really weather appropriate, I'm honestly gonna be putting on these boots. These are my ice queen boots. So you can see how much salt is on the bottom of them. So I'm not gonna put them on on my carpet. So I'm just gonna put on my running shoes instead. And then I'm just gonna put a big slouchy coat over top of this. I love to layer my wool overcoats over my leathers just for an extra layer of coziness, especially when it's super cold. This way my butt is covered. And I'm just gonna take a tote bag and I'm ready to go. Okay, here we have a final look. This is one that I just came up with myself. It's again, something that I would very likely wear to work. And to me, this is like an illustration again of big slim skin and also working with opposites to create a little bit of contrast and just to push your look a little bit further. So I started off by choosing my hero piece, what, which was this bodysuit. This is the thing that I felt like wearing. I wanted to show you guys an outfit that didn't have jeans, so I grabbed my Jerf Avenue trousers. I'd say the proportion on these are a little bit bigger. Obviously, I must have my blazers, my security blanket, and this is again from Jerf Avenue too, but I'm feeling kind of like a blob right now looking at myself in the camera and blending right in, so I'm going to bring back some skin by rolling up the sleeves. And really, this is the only place where I can bring in skin besides the shoe, but I don't want to do that today um, because of the high neck of the bodysuit. So now I really like this a lot more. All I had to do was push up the sleeve. And now I just want to add in something a little bit weird into this outfit. If I chose a boot or a ballet flat, a heel even, then I think this would lean into a more formal, perhaps businessy, corporate kind of look, which is totally fine, but it's not necessarily what I want to go for. So I am adding a shoe that is in the complete opposite of the vibe. So I added my New Balance Jerry Seinfeld dad sneakers, and I think it gives that extra little bit of like, oh, that's kind of weird to the outfit. Kind of like a mullet. It's like corporate, professional on top, party on the bottom. And that's what I really like. It's also very comfortable. So if I did wear this to work, I can stand all day, I can walk around, I can walk to work and it's very, very practical and functional. So that's it for today's video. I hope you had some fun and got some inspiration out of the idea and exercise of shopping your own closet. Let me know if you try this yourself and what kind of outfits you can come up with. And I just wanna thank Maywai again for sponsoring this video. If you wanted to give some of their pieces a try, you can get 20% off using the code CM20. I'll leave all that link down below. If you got some value from this video or you like videos like this, then please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Let's get to 200K this year. We're pretty close, I think we can do it. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.